known as the Dixie Chicks. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. If they were called the Dixie Chicks now, they'd have to like, backpedal and say, Oh, I'm so sorry for calling me that. You know, with the cancel culture and all that crap. No, but now we're talking about a song about killing someone. Okay. Mm. This is late night, folks. I don't care what anybody thinks. And half the people aren't paying attention anyway. Two thirds of the half of them. They're kind of like the rap over there. Just, just some more. And you know, you can floss between his ears. Pretty stupid. Don't say stupid. Don't say stupid. Oh, come on, I know this song. I've heard it a million times over Jim's Knoxville tap. I should know this stupid song. Mary and Wanda were the best of friends all through their high school days. Both members of the 4-H club, both active in the FFA. After graduation, Mary Ann went out Looking for a big, bright world. Wanda look her all around this town, and all she found was Earl. Well, it wasn't two weeks after she got married that Wanda started getting abused. She put on dark glasses and long sleeve blouses and makeup to cover the bruise. Well, she finally got the nerve to file for the divorce. she take it law, take it from there. But Earl walked right through the restraining order and put her in intensive care. Interesting guy. Right away, Mary Ann flew in from Atlanta on a red-eyed midnight flight. She held on his hand and they worked out a plan and it didn't take long to decide that Earl had to die. No, 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 no. Goodbye, Earl. Mmm, no black eyed peas. They tasted all right to me. Earl, are you feeling weak? Why don't you lay down and sleep, Earl? Ain't it dark? Wrapped in that tarp. Na 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 The cops came by to bring Earl in. They searched the house high and low. Then they tilled their hats and said, Thank you, ladies. If you hear from him, let us know. Well, weeks went by and spring turned to summer. Summer faded into the fall, and it turns out he was a missing person who nobody missed at all. Interesting. So the girls bought some land at a roadside stand on Highway 109. They sell Tennessee ham and strawberry jam, and they don't lose any sleep at night. Cause Earl had to die. Na 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 na, goodbye Earl. Na 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 Go out to the lake, Earl. Na na, we'll pack a lunch. Na na na, na 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 Well, hey, hey, hey. No one really heard this at Jim Snodgrove's death. It's only on um, Cara Fun. <laughs> well, hey, 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 hey. Na, 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 na. No, 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 no. Thank you very much. All right, they may be pinkles, but they got good music. <laughs>